Tyson Griffin got some serious leg kicks. If he was a girl, you would say he has a badonka dong. <laughs> this that dude's got some thick legs. You said badonka dong. That dude looks like he's got some serious squat power. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Joe MMA195, and today we'll be taking a look at some of Joe Rogan's funniest MMA moments. Joe Rogan checks out Ronda Rousey. During the weigh-ins for UFC 168, where Ronda Rousey would be weighing in for her second fight against Misha Tate, Joe Rogan could clearly be seen behind Rousey, checking her out as she was getting ready to step on the scale in a very awkward but hilarious clip that has been shared throughout the internet. Joe Rogan freaks out about the McGregor vs. Aldo fight. At UFC 189, Conor McGregor was set to face Chad Mendes for the interim featherweight title. During this UFC event, Joe Rogan had a hilarious moment where he freaked out over the possibility of a fight between Conor McGregor and Jose Aldo. If Conor can do to him what he's been doing to everyone else, the Aldo fight will be beyond imagination. Styles make fights. Many, Joe, have said stylistically this Joe Rogan fanboying over Brock Lesnar. About 10 years ago, when Brock Lesnar's MMA career was at its peak, Joe Rogan had a video blog live stream where he went on a hilarious rant about how great Brock Lesnar is. Brock Lesnar, that's that's a, a freak of a man. That's a, a, like the high end of the genetic spectrum. You have Brock Lesnar, some weird instance where, you know, Vikings Vikings for generation after generation and their warrior bloodlines were passed on and this motherfucker living in the woods in Minnesota you know he got the best of the best his fucking head is that big but at the end of the day that motherfucker is a barbarian the reason why he's so good he is a direct descendant from ancient giant warriors from thousands of years ago a regular dude man you ain't gonna just be able to punch that guy and send him home packing no he's gonna eat your punch and he's gonna pick you up in the air like you're a pillow and you're gonna feel so bad you're gonna feel terrible the feeling that you're gonna have of helplessness and hopelessness when that gorilla grabs a hold of you and yanks you up in the air and smashes you and then gets on top of you and starts boom boom and those big lunchbox fists a few years later, Joe Rogan would incorporate a segment about Brock Lesnar into a stand-up comedy routine. And we are talking to a guy like Brock Lesnar, there's at least 1% of your brain that's going, please don't f*** me. Please. <laughs> it's not that he's gay, because he's not. It's not that even if he was gay, he couldn't do better than me. He could do way better than me. Joe Rogan botches UFC's Fox debut. In 2011, when UFC would be debuting on Fox, Joe Rogan would host a live TV segment where he would introduce some UFC executives and pro fighters. But things turned awkward when Joe Rogan mixed up the names of the two fighters, George St. Pierre and Frankie Edgar. UFC Hall of Famer Chuck Liddell. UFC lightweight champion Frankie Edgar. And UFC welterweight champion George St. Pierre. <laughs> Nate Diaz's profanity-laced callout At UFC on Fox 17, after Nate Diaz would defeat Michael Johnson, Joe Rogan would interview him, but Diaz would go on a profanity-laced tirade calling out Conor McGregor while live on Fox. Beautiful performance against a very tough guy in Michael Johnson. How do you feel about it? Fuck that. Conor McGregor, you're taking everything I work for, my I'm gonna fight your ass. You know what's the real fight, what's the real money fight is me. Not these clowns that you already punked at the press conference. Don't know one wanna see that, you know you beat them already. That's an easy fight. You want that real shit right here. Hey, and I'm not- Unfortunately, you can't talk like that on Fox. This ended in an awkward moment where Joe Rogan had to cut the interview short due to the fact that profanity is not allowed on network TV. 
Joe Rogan's reaction to the Holm vs. Rousey fight At UFC 193, one of the most unexpected MMA upsets occurred when Holly Holm knocked out Ronda Rousey in spectacular fashion to win the UFC Bantamweight title. Joe Rogan's reaction to this was priceless as he was in pure shock from what he had just witnessed. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like down below and subscribe for more MMA content.